Hello everyone, the topic now we will see is impressions in RPD. We know that removal partial dentures can be of two types, tooth supported or tooth tissue supported. Basically based on the different classifications of Kennedy and modifications given by Apple gets to so in impressions in RPD has to be something different has to be something uh, relevant to our classification and also it should solve the purpose of the removal partial denture fabrication. Now what are the prerequisites of impression making? The impression material should be rigid, it can be thermoplastic, it can be elastic substances which is present. Prerequisite for any impression material remains the same that it should be easy to manipulate, biocompatible, it should be flowable before uh, introducing into oral cavity it should set fast in the oral cavity no dimensional changes should be there and thereafter it should not get any distortion to the impression material now impression materials like rigid impression materials can be plaster of paris it can be metallic oxide paste thermoplastic materials like for example modeling plastics it can be impression waxes and natural resins Elastic materials like can be reversible hydrocolloids like agar agar, reversible hydrocolloids like hydrogenate, mercaptans like thioctol, or we have rubber based impression materials like silicon impression material polyether, addition silicon, or condensation silicon. Now, for a very example, very initial thing is we need to have a primary impression. Because anything which requires a primary impression or a working impression or a diagnostic impression per se where we are going to look after the entire cast and then start deciding in, the, in our mind that what are we going to plan in that particular patient, what is best suitable to that particular patient, what is the classification of the removal partial denture. So these are the plannings that we are supposed to do. For that we are supposed to make a primary impression. The best material to make a primary impression is alginate which is easy to manipulate, easy to set and inexpensive. And so the working impressions are obtained after the denture has been designed and any tooth preparations are completed. Now there can be tooth supported partial denture prosthesis or it can be tooth tissue supported partial denture prosthesis. If it is a tooth supported partial denture prosthesis, a normal silicon impression material impression can also solve the purpose. Removal partial denture that are completely tooth supported, the burnt of the occlusal loading is taken up by the tooth. So the edentulous ridge exact relation or compression is not our consideration. So support of the partial denture is always on to the tooth and not on to the ridge. So constructed on a master cast made from a single pressure free impression technique. That is not a mucostatic, mucocompression but a normal impression technique which can be selective pressure as well. Coming to the most important and the delicate part of a removal partial denture that is tooth tissue supported fixed partial denture prosthesis. Now this tooth tissue supported fixed partial coming to the most important and delicate part of a removal prosthesis is tooth tissue supported removal prosthodontics or a removal partial denture prosthesis. Now this tooth tissue supported partial denture prosthesis requires two impression. One anatomic impression and one is a functional impression. Now what does these term indicate? Why do we need these impressions? All the questions might be arising. Now the first impression that I spoke was anatomic impression. That means the tooth which is all present intraorally which we are going to keep for the for the fabrication of removal prosthodontics or prosthesis, those tooth has to be recorded in one impression. That impression which will record the anatomic structures of the teeth will be called as anatomic impression. Now functional impression, why are we saying a functional impression? Because a tooth tissue supported has a tissue component as well. Tissue is a component which can be compressed. So in function it will get compressed. When it is not in function it will be 
release over. So in those conditions, we need to make our impression. So a different impression technique is advocated when it is two tissue supported partial denture. So we have one impression that is anatomic impression. One impression we have that is functional impression of the mucosa of the ridge of the tissue. Now these two impression, two impressions, so it is also called dual impression technique. So that is the reason dual impression comes into picture one anatomic, one functional. Now this dual impression technique, how are we going to mix this anatomic with the functional? So first we will make the functional impression, we will do body molding, we will make the impression and then we will pick up that functional impression with the help of a stock tray on with the help of an anatomic impression. So now since the anatomic impression is picking up the functional impression, it is also known as pick up impression. So three terms till now, anatomic impression, functional impression, pickup impression, all together broadly named as dual impression technique. So let's see what are the different dual impression techniques. So I told you why we need functional impression because of the compressibility, we need the functional impression. The concepts and rationals are the bone beneath resorbs, the parental ligaments are there, alveolar ridge which is present and the mucoperiosteum which is present are compressible. Tissue resiliency and like effect, real effect of the denture bearing area that is a mucosa is also present. So we need to record all this in the rest, in the function. So that's the reason we came across with the functional impression technique or also called as a dual impression technique when we are picking up with the help of anatomic impression. Now what are the indications of dual impression technique? So mandibular distal extension case, very important. Long span distal extension case, distal extension case where rich mucosa is very much resilient or flabby ridge is present. Long span anterior edentulous ridge. Now that will also result to combination syndrome kind of effect. So for those cases we are supposed to make dual impression technique. Now objectives of functional impression techniques are that we need to obtain maximum support. Now this maximum support is also explained with the help of a theory called snowshoe effect. What is a snowshoe effect? Snowshoe effect or a broad stress distribution. This word comes into picture because when you walk in a snow the shoes that you wear, you should observe the shoes. Those are bigger in size, bigger twice or thrice than your leg size. Those shoes are bigger. What is the reason for those snow shoes which are bigger in size? Because it is considering and accepting a bigger surface area. More the surface area, more stability to the snow. So more the stability to the snow, you will not slip off. Similar concept is used in removal partial dentures. If you are using a broad, you are giving a stress, which you are giving broad stress distribution with the help of snowshoe effect, maximum support can be gained. So what are the prerequisites for functional impression method? It records and relates the supporting soft tissue under same loading. It distributes the load over as large as possible. That is what we spoke. Now impression method, two DL impression method techniques are there. It can be either physiological or functional impression method or it can be a selective pressure technique. Now this functional or physiologic impression technique with years together again there were modification. McLean was the first scientist who came up with one technique. Then came Hindle's modification. Then came the functional relining method and finally came the wax fluid method or the fluid wax method. We also have the selective pressure, selected pressure impression technique method. These are the different methods advocated for dual impression technique. Let's see the first impression technique that is the McLean's impression technique. How do we go ahead with McLean's impression technique? So in McLean's impression technique, what you do is you first record the functional impression that is you can see you make a custom tray you do a border molding see the inside pictures you do the border molding and see green stick border molding of the inside is done then this is the zinc oxide eugenol the final impression is made 
After that, on this custom tray, we have to also prepare a wax rim. And this is the alginate impression, that is anatomic impression, to record this, this and this. That is the teeth. These are the teeth which is present. So we have to record that in anatomic position with the help of irreversible alginate material and this was a functional impression. Now once we picked up this impression over this, now pick up impression happened because anatomic picked up the functional impression. Behind this particular custom tray is the wax rim. What is the reason of wax rim? First reason to keep the wax rim is that it maintains a vertical dimension. Second is while we are operating the wax rim, our fingers can rest on the wax rim. That was another usefulness of that McLean's technique initially when he used wax rims. Now, what were the disadvantages of this material? Our finger pressure that we were giving because this border molding was done with the pressure of the wax rims. Now our finger pressure is not equal to the occlusal pressure. So the pressure that we are giving maybe might be much higher than the occlusal pressure. So we are not recording the exact functional impression. So that was a disadvantage with this particular method. So what did Hindel do? Hindel modified this technique. He said, when you are using this alginate impression, the tray just behind the alginate impression where edentulous space was present, he cut that particular area. So the alginate, then the wax rim, then the denture base, that is a custom tray. Custom tray, wax rim and the alginate. Now if you cut the alginate area, directly you have the wax rim and the custom tray. Now what happened, the pressure that we are putting on with the finger is not, one material is out because alginate is kept whole over there, so no alginate in that area, we directly are putting on the pressure on the wax rim. But again, the question arises the same. We were putting our pressure off with our fingers. So even Hindle's technique was discarded. Then came functional relining technique. Functional relining technique is advocated when the entire cast partial denture is casted. Now you can see here the cast partial denture has come to you. Now you made just you made a normal anatomic impression. You have fabricated the, you have made the design, what has to come over it. You have given a particular RPD designing and fabricated and casted the particular casting of the removal partial denture, removed it, trimmed it, checked the fit onto the patient's mouth intraorally. And then now the procedure that we will do is called the functional relining method. That is, you will do border molding over the framework that we have obtained from casting. You can see this is the framework and on the framework we have done border molding. I have taken a light body impression as the secondary impression. So this is the light body impression as the secondary impression we have made. A nice wash impression is obtained over here. And this technique after fabrication of your cast partial denture, when you are giving the functional relining is done, we are relining the denture with the, the cast partial denture that we have obtained, we are relining that. So that is the reason it is called functional relining method. The advantages were very nice with this. Now, now fluid wax impression technique. What is fluid wax impression technique? The same procedure when done with the help of fluid wax over in this area. What is a fluid wax? Like for posterior palatal seal also we had seen this technique, fluid wax technique. Physiologic waxes. Remember the word physiologic waxes, those wax which are hard outside the intraorally and when placed intraorally it sets up. So softens outside the mouth temperature and inside the tem mouth temperature it will set up. So that is the wax like Iowa wax or Correcta number 4 wax. These are the wax or OC applicates wax is also there. So these are the wax which are fluid wax. So that can be applied to these area after the fabrication of cast partial denture and then a new cast can be prepared and done all the modification because 
on this cast partial denture there has to be an acrylic framework which will come there will be acrylic which is coming and on the acrylic there will be teeth so one more cast can be obtained from this so now the cast which will be obtained from functional relining method or fluid wax functional impression method is called altered cast technique we have altered the master cast now we will see how is that done we will see entire case over there this kind of impression techniques are physiologic impression techniques selective tissue placement impression method what happens in that we know voucher has given us a very good method which says that those area which are susceptible to take up stress just give stress in those area which cannot relieve those areas and put a relieving wax and make the impression similar technique is advocated for even formation and fabrication of a cast partial denture so we will put a wax to relieve relief wax is added at times in this kind of case where fluid wax functional impression also they also add metal wax spacer metal spacer is also added at times selective tissue placement impression method is done then border molding is forwarded border molding best accomplished by green stick compound incremental or if you have to go for a single step polyether is also a very good material coming to the altered cast technique now the cast that will come from this particular functional relining method the new cast which is formed is called the altered master cast now we have to fabricate the acrylic over that and we know now we have space behind and then the fabrication of the, the arrangement of the teeth is done onto occlusion and then the final polymerization is carried over so now we'll see entire case see this was the primary impression which was made this can also be called as a functional impression because i made a custom tray we did a green stick compound border molding and this is a mono phase material mono phase acts as both tray material as well as a tooth material so now i have fabricated with that with this impression i have fabricated this cast initially onto that cast i have designed the cast partial denture how i want it to be using spacers in the posterior area beneath the framework that spacer i had used for the acrylic to come in that particular place then i did border molding that is functional relining method i started with the framework the cast framework that i have obtained then the final impression or the secondary impression was made with light body applying tray adhesive into this area now see this cast which was there i marked the cast with serrations and i cut the cast cut the cast exactly from the edentulous area now the only thing which is remaining in the cast is the anatomic sections and things which i have cut over was the distal extension areas so now i have cut the cast i have also had a border molding and a light body final impression there is a functional relining now i will fit this over that cast upside down and box it bead it and pour another cast in the functional area so now i have poured with the stone another cast half of that which i have added after beading and boxing and this green which you can see is the distal extension which is the functional impression now so we have now anatomic impression cast we have a functional impression cast since this cast was altered from the first initial cast that we had this is why this cast is called altered cast this technique of fabrication of the cast is called altered cast technique and see now this is how my ridge beautifully records the functional impression with the help of functional relining technique with the framework and we have a new master cast with us where now i can fabricate the acrylic portion 
arrange my teeth and this cast is appropriately with the help of dual impression technique anatomical and functional. So it is a dual impression technique cast. This cast is called altered cast and this technique is called altered cast technique. Thank you.